Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are joined by our friend and entertainment personality, Shanika Taylor, who's here to give us the inside scoop on everything Hollywood. And we have just got to welcome you back, Shanika. Yes, how happy are new you, dear? Year. Let me just tell you how this hair is giving me life <laughs> right now. Time. I just have to. I mean, I'm, I, I say what I see. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> and right now, too, I see that Master P has something good going on. Yes, he has yes. partnered with Lionsgate. It's a serious day for hip hop because, you know, he's got to have his um, biopic. It's, it's coming out. It's great. It's called King of the South, yeah. Ice Cream Man. Yeah. And this is a really big deal. But look, here's the thing. What's he the goes name? to Instagram uh -huh. and he says that this, he promises us uh -huh. that it's going to be way better than Straight Outta Compton. Straight Ooh. Outta Compton, it grows to over $200 million. That's a but, tall order. But look, if he could hustle these CDs out of a trunk, mm -hmm. start from the bottom, Come on and up. really bring, mm -hmm. you know, bring us something that we haven't seen before, right. independent, right. innovative, right. a record label yeah. in the South, then how can't we stand well, behind that statement? all I got to say is this. Master P, make him say, uh. Uh. <laughs> make him say, uh. uh. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. How about that? Are you really from the <laughs> well, South? I, oh, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So let's Let's talk a little bit about Travis Scott. Seems like he is in the spirit of giving. Yes, yes. Um, well, Travis Scott, he's no new to the humani um, humanitarian mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. He always gives. He's given $100,000 uh, to a new program, an after-school program, awesome. nonprofit organization in Houston. Um, and this is to help the students basically create music independently. Wow. Yeah, How so awesome he's, is he's that? doing his thing. But I love Travis to death, but the people really want to know is, why, why are you still performing at the Super Bowl? But that's a tea for another day. Well, he oh, said we need representation, so there it is. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. Let's move on, because uh, it's a lot of divorces going on, you know, uh, uh, including my very own. But uh, let's talk a little bit about Keisha Cole and um, Daniel, Daniel Gibson. Gibson. So they filed for divorce, am I correct, back yes. in 2015? Absolutely. And um, they haven't done any paperwork since 2017. And the judge just made a statement. If they do not go ahead and fill out any more files, to stone the entire case out so wow. but here's the thing what's taking so long well Keisha Cole she went to Instagram stating that um, he is asking for not only spousal support but also full custody of the child and Keisha said she's not giving that up but look when you make Keisha mad albums come now we all are you know what I'm saying she's talking about the exes I know I'm doing going through a relationship mm -hmm. so we need to hear the music so keep making Keisha mad so the album can come. Oh that's how I feel y'all are so wrong and look, for now that. for all those who are divorced look now y'all have a voice she gonna make a whole album about that I mean now you, have a, now you have a voice how do you feel so both of them are now in two separate two different relationships absolutely what's not why not just they playing the they playing okay. she really likes them though I think she likes them a lot. Right, that's her baby daddy and somewhat <laughs> semi-husband, I suppose. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. But let's talk a little bit about 50 Cent and Tierra Marie. My God. Yeah, love and hip-hop star. Yes. Tierra Marie, she loses the legal battle, which is no surprise because 50 Cent, he normally wins. So she goes and sues 50 Cent back when her sex tape was released because he not only posted it on his Instagram account, but he also posted the obscene photo. Oh. Uh, but look. If she don't got a storyline for Mona Scott Productions, there you go. Because oh 50 Cent God. is the biggest troll in social media of 2019. Now that he won, <laughs> he is going to antagonize her. Oh, my God. So that's just what it is. Why You just don't play with Fifth. You just kind of just play. let him be. He took out Mayweather. Come on now. Oh and Mayweather got a huge team. And Mayweather, Ja Rule, we can go on and on, on and, and on and on. You just... Shouts out to 50 Cent. You know, Shout we, we cool Cent. with you at the circle. <laughs> Super cool with we don't you want at no the circle. Problems. Yeah, we don't no want, problems we don't, at all. We don't want any smoke with you, 50. <laughs> Trust me, we don't. Let's talk a little bit about uh, The Weeknd and Drake. Don't you yeah. think The Weeknd is, is a little late on this? Yeah, so, so The Weeknd, he drops a new song. It's called Lost in the Fire. It's mm -hmm. a hot new single. Well, the fans and the people are speculating that he's throwing major shade at Jake in these lyrics, and I just want a baby with the right one because I would never be the one to hide one. First of all, no, here's the thing, y'all. First of all, you're late. We found him. His name's Adonis. Mm, yeah, <laughs> like, come on now. It's it's a cold winner. Rap, rap beef, that was last season. My Drake God. has made up with Beak Mill, his rivalry, Chris Brown. Chris Brown and Drake, that was like Scar Mufasa. Like, nobody <laughs> thought <laughs> they was Mufasa. going to get back together. They are get back together. The, look, the government has shut down. We do not care right now. Mm. So the weekend, he just got to take the L on this. Nobody's following you. Wow. 2019, we got we got new things we do. Well, doing. they said we can pack it up. It is Monday. Hey. So, that's what they hey, said. Hey, bars. I'm, I'm just, you know what? You should be a rapper, Quad. I like that. Fifth, come holler at me, Fifth. <laughs> <laughs> holler at you, I girl. I ain't trying to get signed. <laughs> we in big state dropping. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Stouffer's. You know, you, you touched on, you know, the government shutdown. Stouffer's says they, they want to be there for the people. What do you think? What's the Okay, tea? so the Stouffer's, the family company, you know, fa um, they've been serving family and friends since 1924. Yeah, macaroni and cheese over there. Okay, because yeah. everybody was cheating, especially in the black community with the mac and cheese, <laughs> pulling out the sofas. We all know about that. But anyway, so Stouffer's, they are now um, offering families who have been affected um, by the government mm. shutdown. They're giving them free meals. Mm -hmm. Now, the requirements are you have to have a federal government ID, and this okay. is also while supplies last. Well, wait a minute. I'm confused. Yeah. While, while supplies while last? supplies last. So this uh, just seems like they're they... the manufacturer. What do you mean? Uh, just, okay. just make more, more so, mac and cheese. Exactly. So uh, I feel like they're just clout chasing in 2019. They just uh -huh. want to say they have you done their what? part. And you know what? And that's you, a problem. You might be on to something because they did. They did tweet our beloved mayor, Mayor they Keisha, did? Keisha Lance Bottoms, about uh, her mac and look, cheese. Because so they, they know, look, they know this is the black community. They know we all be, yeah. So mm -hmm. they're trying to get their, look, mm -hmm. Stouffer's, you, they didn't need to do all that. We were still eating the Stouffer's mac and cheese. We wasn't going mm -hmm. nowhere. So The shade of it all. Well, listen, Shanika, thank you so much for Thanks joining for us. You always me. have all of the scoop, honey. And you can keep up with these stories and more. How about that? Let me just turn over here then. They want me to be over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about that? Okay, so let's see. Uh, thank you so much. Up next, we have Full Circle and uh, what the people say. You don't want to miss it.